Now, just want to come to you this morning, say good morning. So how you doing? Uh, made it back for a, uh, another tips and tricks on Tuesday. Uh, and welcome you into uh, September. Now, today, uh, I had some stuff that I put on there uh, last week and the other week I had uh, couldn't do the live and left a few things on the uh, couple tips for the day that I had um, that were several things. One of the things was just knowing using all your social media and all the outlets that you have that are free that you actually can use to promote your brand, promote your business and uh, get your name out there. Uh, you have a face to uh, Facebook page, which some people use there. They choose to use their personal profile as their business page instead of just getting a business page, which um, is free from Facebook. Instagram doesn't cost you anything either. And you can set that up. Uh, so Instagram, Facebook bought Instagram. So they're integrated as well. Um, YouTube. Uh, that's yours as well. They give you about 50 channels that you can actually create for free. Um, so there are a lot of different things, TikTok, and I'll speak a little bit about that uh, later that you can use to and LinkedIn that you can use to get your name out there for a lot of businesses, especially the uh, e-commerce and even plumbers, people that um do credit authors, uh, they use, they can still use LinkedIn, but Instagram is definitely something that they can use. TikTok, people are getting on more as they're learning about it. Um, a lot of people see the kids on it and, you know, there are a lot of people on there and you can get views and there are certain things you can do. But that little message that I had left was about, you know, you can brand yourself with these things that are free. You just have to maybe take a second and get out there and do it. Even if you create content for yourself, whether it's videos and other things that you can create, let's say you took a week or two weeks and you decided you were just going to create videos. The good thing about most of these platforms is that you can go ahead and schedule. You can make them now. Let's say you took a Saturday or a Sunday, had a couple changes of clothes, and you made several videos or if you chose to have just the one thing on and then you just made videos you could then um syndicate these where you could use one uh, uh service like mine where you could just put it on all the social media that you wanted or you could go back and you can individually do it yourself put it on there and you can schedule something to come out each day or something to come out each day of the uh, a particular week that you want. If you wanted to come out on Tuesdays, you could have it come out on Tuesdays. If you wanted to be Saturday at a certain time when you think people are up before your particular thing, then that's what you, um, that's what you can do. You can think about what the TV does at certain times of night. You know that there are, they know the people through demographics um, and their analysis of whose TV is on, they already know how much money you make, what your race is, what your religion is, where you live at, probably what type of job you have. So they know the people that are up watching certain shows and certain channels on regular TV and cable at certain times of the day or night. They know who's up at 2 a.m. They know who's home at 11 a.m. So they know what type of commercials that need to come on. And you can start to learn these things as well. Even if you look at your own habits um, and speaking to your friends and coworkers and family, you know a little bit about them and you know about yourself. So you know the times when you want to get a particular message through to a particular type of people that might be buying or using your service. So you don't want to put things on at eight o'clock in the morning, but you know, a lot of your customers shop at 1 a.m. in the morning. Cause I noticed as well as having a marketing business, I also have an e-commerce store. And I noticed a lot of people that come to my store, 
were from the West or Midwest, uh, Texas, California, Oklahoma, and then they actually shopped their hour or two behind. I'm on the East Coast and they would shop at one in the morning, two in the morning. So, you know, if I'm going to do certain things, I know the areas I want to advertise to. And then I also know the time of day that I might want to post something on my Facebook business page so that I could, um, you know, cater to these people that might be coming through. And that's the thing I started talking about from the beginning was that some people use their personal profile as their business instead of just opening a business page and letting their friends or people know that you can go here and find out about my business. Business pages have a lot of advantage. They can uh, get your brand out there. Google does index them. So when people put in uh, your if you sell shoes, if you sell lingerie, if you do a credit report, if you, again, if you're an author, if, if you're a plumber, you're in HVAC, you have a restaurant, you make cakes. All these things could be put on a business page, especially if you, uh, one of the things, if you have a restaurant where you can put your business information on as opposed to your personal information, um, you know, some of us work it from home, so they may be the same, but you can still separate your business and your home, just like you can when you do your taxes. You know, they don't, the IRS, they like you to mix money. So with some things, you can create a separate, have something separate for your business and then something for your personal. So sometimes you, you would like to, you want to start your business with your friends and family. But then you also want to scale up by including people that are in the nation. Um, and if you can, if you have that type of service, you can do it in the world. But if you have a local business, you're a painter, you cut grass, you would like to maybe advertise what you can do. You need a business page for. Um, you can advertise from your free business page and then you can doctor that business page up. I offered a, a while ago, a few people who took advantage of it, the um, the free video for your Facebook header, which can explain more about your uh, about your business. When somebody comes to your Facebook page, they immediately, some of you all have beautiful logos, but the logo doesn't necessarily say what your service is. So by having a video there, um, they would know. They can sit there and watch that. Uh, Facebook says you, you can only have, I think, a minimum of 30 seconds, a maximum of, of 90 seconds. But you have your own commercial explaining what you do, what your service is and making the person feel good. Whether you sell real estate, you're a painter, you cut grass. Again, some the things that are local where they can see um, that either you're in the area or they, they just can see what product and service that you offer. You can have a still picture, but. Hey, we know, like I said, TV operates on moving pictures. This is 2020. Get ready. Uh, it's been moving fast. We're going into 2021. And people, for years, TVs survived because of moving pictures. So, you know, we can jump in. You can move back and forth in between those two mediums of a still picture and uh, having a video for your Facebook page. But back to that, you can advertise. You can advertise locally where people in your neighborhood, when they're looking for a painter, a cake maker, somebody that does seafood. Um, and when they put that into Google or they put it into Facebook, then your business will pop up that this is something that you do. And then they could possibly use your service because it's a service that's in their neighborhood. And Facebook does have an algorithm where they will do that, just like YouTube, just like Google does. They like to service people and provide information that people need. And if they need somebody with your service or product in the neighborhood, then yours will be one that they'll serve up. So just remember that, that you can, you know, you can differentiate between your personal page profile and your business uh, profile. 
So that's something that you can you can separate. It's not it's not real technical. And again, uh, <laughs> I do have a marketing marketing agency, and that's something that that we can do. Um, or you can do take the time and, and and do it for yourself and just add some of these other things uh, into it. For restaurants, we also they also have um, our offer service where you can actually take orders uh, through Facebook. You can do it online. You can offer delivery. You don't have to use uh, Uber Eats, Grubhub, or anything else. You can provide jobs for people in your neighborhood and might have been the waiters and the bartenders and the bus boys. If they have vehicles and it's something local, you'll do it. You know, they got a bicycle or they have a car and they just want to run. You want to run within 10 miles or 20 miles of where your store is. You can do it. You don't necessarily need to use Uber Eats and the other people that might be charging you 35 percent on top of whatever it is that the people are paying. Um, these are services that there's something I have a service that you can do where you can actually have people order in this time when we still want to use um, touchless things. Why not have a person? Why have the same menu that everybody came in, whether you're, you're spending money on paper? You buy a ream of paper so that you can hand out people paper menus and they put them back down. Either they take them with them, which is branding for you, or they just sit them back on the counter after they do their uh, do their order. You can actually use this service to just have the people hit a QR code and they can go in and make a place of order without touching anything. You can have a little PDF, um, which is an option. You can have a PDF attached to the QR code and the uh, it'll take them to what your menu is and they can just browse it on their phone. So they don't need to necessarily come into your restaurant. They don't need to be handed a a menu, um, a piece of paper or one of, the, uh, one of the menus that you had traditionally when people come into your business or your restaurant. They can simply do it right then. If you had a price list for your, you know, you were a painter, you can do QR codes for real estate. If you have a price list for anything, any service that you offer, you can have people just simply go there. That's one thing that you can do depending on your business. If you choose, if it's something where people have options and you used to hand them a piece of paper, you now can use a QR code. So, and that's part of, you can brand it and do different things. So um, just jump into the TikTok real quick, because I don't want to hold you too long. I like to keep your attention, get in and out. But uh, TikTok, if you notice, if you get on it, you don't know that much about it. I'm sure you've seen some advertisements on Facebook where they have TikTok for business. It's just, a, I guess, a few things real quickly about TikTok. You can get a lot of, um, you know, views uh, for your for your business on TikTok. I see some real estate people taking advantage of it, some credit people um, that are taking advantage of it, and uh, in different different uh, areas, people are starting to pick up on it. Just like slowly, Instagram came and people started to learn about it, and then they they're using it, and you know that's their main their main thing. That's their advertisements that they use by showing pictures and having people. Um, with their food or services or clothes and different things. They, they sell a lot through Instagram. And with TikTok, if you notice, the, if you go through yourself, you scroll through, you'll hear certain songs that are used a lot. Use those songs for your video. You can make a video with no sound and then use that sound for your video. If you scroll through TikTok, you'll notice a lot of people actually use certain songs. And if you hear people's phones on their phones um, around you, you know, I know that they're probably on TikTok or it's a TikTok video. Cause some people will be like, I'll be like, oh, what you on TikTok? They're like, no, no, I don't have it. But they shared the video. Somebody shared the video on Instagram. 
somebody shared a video on Facebook. So you know certain songs that people are on TikTok because there are popular sounds that people use. So whether you're a model, whether you cook, you're showing a recipe, you have the little um, blurbs that they put on the screen that allow you to, uh, you know, you have a message that you type on the screen. Uh, as long as you have those popular songs or those popular sounds, people will watch it because people will hit the button for the sound and all the videos that use that sound will pop up. So you can take advantage of the sounds or music that people use frequently. And you may think, well, oh, well, this song doesn't go with my business. Okay. Some of it's just a, it's just the music. It's just the sound. People do a little dance, whatever the savage thing is. They did the little dance. If you use that music to advertise your business and it wasn't offensive to your customers, people would actually see whatever it is that you were advertising or that you were showing your business, your credit business, your plumbing business, your painting business. So don't get so caught up in necessarily what you like, because I think in business we do that at times as well, is you you base things on what you like as opposed to what your customers want. Sometimes what they want is different. And then you are able to sell more or do more um, in your business when you give customers what they want, not necessarily what you like. So that's something to think about, especially in TikTok, is you can hear when you're walking around, you can hear the songs that people use and you can scroll through the various videos, take yourself 15 minutes um, and scroll through you'll notice a lot of the same songs being used and then try to use those same sounds or songs for yourself. Get about maybe two or three or five songs that you notice might be there. If you got some old school um, Marvin Gaye or any of those sounds that you might, you know, kids, uh, uh, songs that maybe your kids didn't and you were going after a certain age group, then yeah, maybe you can use those songs, but try to see how many people have used that sound. And the more people use the sound, the more people are gonna see whatever it is that you're putting out there. So again, social media um, is something that some people make some people nervous, but it's also something that for those people that know what they're doing, or at least those people that jump out there and they try something Anytime you try, you're going to learn, you're going to have a learning experience. If you fail, you know not to do that again. If you succeed, then hopefully you just rinse and repeat and, and do that same thing. And these are things that help to scale you up. And just a little, my last tip is be prepared. What if you do something and all of a sudden what you did starts to boost your business? You were making 10 sales a day. And then you threw a video out there on YouTube or TikTok or anything else. And then that video caused more people to come to you. You got more notoriety. And that was a good, a good problem to have because if you went from 10 sales to 100 sales, try to get yourself together where you're able to, um, you're able to be able to sustain that. And, you know, what you would have to do if all of a sudden, you know, you became popular. Last, it was a, is a, in, I'm from the Maryland area and there's a website, there's a Facebook page called Buy, Buy Black Networking Baltimore. And if you look on that for some of you all, um, that have your own page, uh, if you're looking at something, you can look at kind of their structure. They went from maybe 50,000 people to 60, to 60,000 people. And in a short time, once a lot of people started hearing about it, especially with the, you know, people getting into the support your local business, buy black. And because they were on it, a lot of people just go there and they want a service and they're trying to get people to recommend who it is that they, um, you know, who people recommend. If you want to support, you have a black business, you don't have a black business, you're black, 
you're white, you're some other religion, uh, uh, you're some other race, and you would like to support, show your support. Um, this is a place that you can go and you can find different things, different things that might be in your area, different people that offer these services. So it's something to go take a look at, even if it's just to take a look at the structure, how they do things um, and they, how they generate uh, business for people by just going in and asking and people helping people and wanting to do things. That's by Black Networking Baltimore. Um, I know that one is, is a very popular uh, page um, on Facebook and it's a place where people can find it. And then if we have something, you can do it locally um, and not just thinking about you, you're helping your whole community. And by helping the community, you're giving people what they want. You can actually get what you want. And many gurus and other people will always tell you that is that by if you give help people get what they want, it'll help you to get what you want. So that was my <laughs> kind of long uh, tip and trick for the day is uh, get out there, put your face out there, uh, put your name out there and a uh, quick plug for Dr. Morell and her It's going to be, I believe it's a um, Sunday at six. She's doing Facebook live. Uh, she's going to be getting getting into reading. So she's going to have readings for your children. She's going to be reading books. So if you're looking for something for your kids to do um, on that evening, that's something you can check into and um, get with her. Get to uh, come in, let them sit down, let them watch. Instead of watching all the um, Daddy Shark and those other things, in addition to, uh, you can have somebody that can read to your kids that might save you a couple minutes uh, <laughs> of your free time while they sit and enjoy a book and enjoy her reading. So I'm going to sign off. Have a wonderful day. And uh, some of these things try to take advantage of and you can start to implement them as soon as possible so you can help improve um, your business and how things go.